Hey guys, and welcome to a new video. So Yolvi 8.1 has just been released. We have a bunch of new features that we're covering. In this video here, we're going to talk about the YOLO Explorer. So now we can actually go in and search and filter our data set where we can basically just have our data, we can chat with our data, we can combine it together with large language models. So we can basically have semantic search and also vector similarity search with our data set. So we can create our embeddings with our images and also with our labels. Then we can go in and search for data set, filter it, and then we can optimize our data sets for training our Jolvi models with Ultralytics. So the cool feature about this one here is that we can optimize our data sets. Better data is better than better models. So that is really important that you actually like focus a lot on your data set. And that is often the improvement that you'll get the most out from is actually like fine tuning your data set for your specific applications and project. So let's not just jump inside this Autolytics Explorer tab. We can see an example here. We can now go in and chat with our data set. So it's going to create these image embeddings where we can go in and search for specific embeddings and also like specific labels in our data set. So here with the AI show images with one person and one dog, and then it's going to sort and filter our data set based on that. And that is how we can go in and optimize and fine tune our data set and find specific edge cases. So this is a really cool tool. If you want to find specific situations, edge cases that you want to fine tune your model on, or just to check if your data is actually like good enough. So we have a bunch of different tabs here. We have the explore API. You can use it directly in code. So you can have a Google Colab notebook, run it through, ask the AI to find different images and so on, and you can go through it. They have a Colab notebook here. We can just go through that in just a second and see some examples, but that is really easy. You can use it out of the box and you can optimize your data set based on that. So to, able, to be able to install it, you basically just need to install the nearest version of Ultralytics and then run the YOLO command, so YOLO Explorer. So it will open up a local host, you can set up your data set and then you'll get this view up here at the top. So this will be the dashboard that we can go and use to have the API. And then we can also see that they have this VOC exploration example, which they're going through both here in the documentation, but also in the Google Colab notebook. So you can just go through that. It will show you how we can do similarity search. So if you want to find similar images in your data set, let's say you want to filter your cars. So you have an image of a car, then you just want to find similar image to those ones. So it could be like an edge case that you want to take a look at. Could also be pedestrians walking in front of a car or something like that. So this is how we can optimize our models in the best possible way. Because if you're just using a data set without knowing anything about that, you won't be able to train good models. And especially if you're trying to solve real world applications and projects. So here we can see how we can create this explorer. We can create a embeddings table. We can see the embeddings table directly. Here we can see an example of it. So we're just going to get this uh, pandas data frame. We are going to do similarity searches. So x.get similarity. We specify the index that we want to get the similarity of and also the limit or like the amount of images that we want to get from the similarities. And then we can get the head. So just like the first few examples. So this is basically just an example that shows like all of the individual steps that you can do both semantic search, ask AI here. So you can use like open AI, you can set up your open AI API key, and then you can use that instead of like doing SQL queries, then you can also just ask the AI and it will try to do the search and filtering for you with natural language. If you're not familiar and want to use SQL queries out of the box. So here again, we just call x.askai, we throw in our prompt, and then it's going to figure out all of it by itself. And then you can directly show the results by calling plot query result. And then we see the bounding boxes, the annotations of our objects. So right now we want to show me 10 images containing exactly two persons. So here we see that we have two, two persons in each of these images that we are seeing. We can also run SQL queries on your data set if you want to run. We can also run SQL queries on your data set if you want to use that instead of the AI, because again, the AI is again, just generating some text. So it won't be 100% accurate all the time, but it's still very good if you just want to explore your data set and different edge cases. Here we've seen some more examples. We can also work with the embeddings table. So it's a bit more advanced. We won't cover that in details, but let's now go in and see how we can set up this dashboard demo and actually like play around with it in a graphical user interface. So let's now open our new command prompt here. So if you haven't installed Autolytics already, make sure that you have the nearest version, Autolytics version 8.1 at least, so Ultralytics. So we're just going to pip install that. I already have it here on my computer. But after we have done that, it's going to install all the dependencies and so on. This is the only thing that you need to do. Then we can go in and have this YOLO command. So I'm just going to type YOLO Explorer. 
we hit enter and it's going to hope open up this graphical user interface on localhost there we go and then we should get a bunch of examples for some data set that we can say select but we can also set up our own data sets we can even going to select the models that we want to do our predictions on so we can use our data set together with our model so here we see all these different variations both the standard object detection models, the segmentation models, and also the post models for human post estimation or whatever you're using it for. Then we have some different data sets over here. Again, we're just going to use the standard one, so Coco 128. But we can also see all these other data set examples we have with Ultralytics. So let's now go, just go with this standard one here. We can go hit explore, and then it's basically just going to set up everything. Here we can see all the images from our data set. We can go back, select the data set, but this is the explore demo that you can use out of the box with the graphical code user interface. So this is the exact same thing as the API, it's just calling the API calls directly in code. So this is just a graphical code user interface on top of that. So you can either use the Google Colab notebook that they have in the documentation, or you can use this graphical user interface. I would probably just use the graphical code user interface to start with when I'm just exploring my initial data set then if i want to dive into details or already have it in a google colab notebook or in my own notebook i can just go through it see a couple of examples and so on and it's also easier to store previous results if you want to show it or if you just want to be able to go back again into your searches and see how is your data set improving how is model improving over time if you have multiple instances of a notebook so we can actually evaluate it and see the progress over time but here we can see that we have maximum images displayed, 128. You can specify that yourself and also the specific start index in your data set. So here we can specify the number of images we want to use in our similarity search. So let's just try to ask the AI for one specific prompt here. So show images with a dog. Let's ask the AI. We don't have to specify the query or anything. We're just going to, to ask it to specify and show us the images with dogs. Here we can see the maximum number of images displayed. So it's just going to specify it as nine because again, we only have nine images in this data set. You can also go back and choose one of the other data sets if you want to have more images. Let's now go ahead and try the similarity search. So let's try to find um, a person here. Right now we have chosen an image. We can see how many images we actually want to search for in our similarity search. So it's going to find the embeddings. It has already like done all the embeddings beforehand, and then it can go in and calculate the distances between all the embeddings for our images. And that's how it's going to sort and filter it with this similarity search. So let's now just search for it. Let's see what images it actually like comes up with. So now we can see here that it actually like found these images here, which is relatively close. So let's just go in and verify that. So most of the images here are act like with people, even like multiple people in those images. So this is act like pretty cool. So this is actually like pretty cool. We can go in and sort our data set based on people. We can also search for it, but we can also do the similarity searches if we don't really know how to curate or ask the AI for it. So I hope you can use this for improving your data set and especially also your models, because again, better data is better than better models. And in most cases, you can actually like improve your models significantly more if you go in and fine tune your data set a bit more, do some tweaks here and there, go in and look at the performance metrics. You can also do that with Autolytics, check out the documentation. So you can use this for a lot of cool things, a lot of new features with new version YOLO v8.1. So definitely go in, check this out, also test it out on your own data set. And then I'll just see you in the next video guys. Until then, happy learning.